For more than 20 years, DNA profiling has been a reliable method for use in individual identification, and currently, there is growing interest in projects where population identification is made by means of this genetic fingerprint. For this reason, 3OP has developed a high-tech electronic device named Incrosil, inorganic chromosome based in silicon, which emulates the computational behavior and treatment of genetic information. It structurally functions exactly like organic DNA, but is replicated from an artificial perspective, using only silicon. With the silicon structure, we have a physical replica of the strand that does not emulate the biochemical reactions of the DNA. This open structure allows for Incrosil to store any genetic information, files, pictures, texts, etc., by means of codifying the information into the DNA strands. This device can store all the genetic information of one single person or of one million people. Because of the unique structure, the storage is done in the minimum space possible, under one gigabyte for an entire genetic profile, without losing any information or data integrity. On the front part, we can see two LEDs which indicate the device state, red for power and green for system activity. On the back, the device has a standard USB connection, which allows us to connect the device to any computer. Incrosil also has a connection for an external electrical supply in case the computer it is connected to does not have enough power for the device, although almost all modern computers will have enough energy to supply the device with only power from the USB connection. The system is contained in an aluminum finished box with the company color of blue on either end. The company's logo is displayed on the top panel. Now we will see how the device works with the software designed by 3O. First we will see the main screen of the 3O software. Our first action will be to transfer information to the Incrosil device. To do this, we will click on the Load button. The next window will then load a plain text file, which contains the genetic information to be stored. To transfer this information to the Incrosil device, the 3 op software will calculate the space needed and an address where the information will be stored within the Incrosil device. When the transfer is complete, the form will update itself. We will load other examples so we can see later how it will appear within the application. Here we are transferring three more examples. You can see how the green LED lights up, indicating there is activity in the system. Next, we can use the search by name option to select which sequence we would like to see. The sequence we are looking for will be displayed in a window of 100 nucleotides at a time. Since the entire DNA sequence is too large to visualize within a computer's hard drive, the small window allows for a quicker analysis of the information with no problems or overloading. With this feature, we can also more efficiently analyze more specific subsequences. Here we can see how the genetic information will appear on the screen. With this feature, we can also do a search within the genetic information by inputting a DNA sequence we would like to find and clicking on the search button. This search can be specified for the principal, secondary chain, or both. Here we see how the application is searching through the genetic information to find the exact sequence we specified. but sometimes the user sequence is not inside the genetic information. If this is the case, a window will pop up to alert the user that the sequence has not been found. Now we will modify the initial sequence and search the secondary chain. We can continue searching in different parts of the DNA sequence. To do this, we only need to select another part or sequence inside the window and do not need to restart in Crisil.
We can also search by sequence to determine if the specific sequence is inside the entire Incrisil database. To find out, we only need to click on the button called Search by Sequence. After, we select the sequence that we want to find and then click on the Search button. If Incrisil locates the sequence, it will return a text box and a color panel indicating it was found. Green means that the sequence is available, and red indicates that the sequence is not contained within the Incrisil device. The application will return all matching candidates of the indicated sequence, which will allow you to see coincidences or possible fraud to the system. There is a third option in the Incrisil software, which will codify images to nucleotides to store image data within Incrisil. First we click on Images, and then Conversion. A window with three steps will open. The first step is to load the image. We can load an image rich in colors, or in the case of this example, a medical scan image. We will now convert this image to nucleotides. After the conversion, the genetic information of the image will appear in the next step. From this point, we can store the genetic information inside Incroso. The final step will let us read back the image from Incroso. Incrisil can compact the image up to 38% of the original. From this step, we can also transfer the image from Incrisil to a computer's hard drive. You can see that the image is a pixel-to-pixel -pixel match to the original. The image is not changed or altered in any way because the image is not compressed. It is merely compacted. Inside the load window, we can observe the genetic information stored in Incrisil and see the image reproduced in nucleotides. The 3 yope application can also generate random DNA sequences and it is able to delete all information stored in the drive.